Hey there, boys and girls. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's fine. I wanted to talk about something that one of my good friends that uh, watched my videos left a comment the other day and he asked me if it's possible for me to, uh, to make a video about it and I found it so interesting that I did in fact want to make a video about it so this is for you Gino and the topic is listening to music on a motorcycle Well, there's many ways to listen to music on a motorcycle. Um, you all know and you can all see that I'm riding a touring bike, I'm riding a cruiser. So most of the times, cruisers are the bikes that are most likely to have uh, different kinds of technology on them, like speakers, like USB devices, Bluetooth devices, so you can listen to music loud while you ride. There's also other ways of listening to music. Now everybody, more or less, have Sina on their helmets and uh, for communication, for uh, receiving phone calls or whatever. But among all these functions, you can listen to music while you ride. Um, as you can see, I don't have any uh, gadgets on my... Uh, bike for listening to music for a number of reasons first of all I like the clean look of these bars that's why I chose this bike uh, instead of a street glide which I loved and I would have all the wind protection and all the navigation things and all the music and everything else that controls the gauges but I chose my Road King special with a clean look in the front even though I'm getting beaten by every weather in this universe especially on long rides thank you sir I chose this for the clean look but why I chose my working special that's a topic that we're gonna talk on another video so uh, yeah I chose not to have music first of all because of the clean look second of all because I do have a Cena uh, that I don't wear most of the time but uh, I wear it when I ride with other people and uh, especially on long trips so uh, having a Cena is another reason why I don't have any gadgets and also I don't have any music playing loud on, on my bike because um, like most of us know, when you're doing motovlogs, if there's some loud music blasting from your uh, speaker system on your bike, and uh, these are songs that are uh, not royalty free, then you get a nice copyright strike. For example, if I was riding, talking to you right now, and I was listening to my favorite ZZ Top song, Lagrange. And the sound and the music would go in the camera and in my microphone and then I would produce a video then I would get a big fat copyright strike so there you go and uh, most of the time I don't listen to music on the bike especially when I'm in situations like this where it's tight when there's traffic, when I really have to focus and I don't know what I'm going to encounter on the next corner. I like to listen to music and again not always on long long trips when we're on long roads for many hours and then a little bit of music would be nice. 
and still not too loud just in the background why because it distracts me I love music so much some of you know that I'm also a musician and uh, I love music with a passion music is half my life but when I'm riding a motorcycle I'm getting so absorbed in the music because obviously it's gonna be music that I love that I'm listening to I'm getting so absorbed I'm tripping like some people would say and uh, I find it distracts me so uh, I don't listen to music that often on this note I think I'm gonna end this little video talking about music while riding a motorcycle and uh, Gino thank you so much my friend for the awesome comment for the awesome question and uh, I appreciate it so much my friend so on this note I'm gonna let you boys and gals go until I catch you on the flip side like always be safe be happy and always take care of yourselves this is Big Bad Wolf Moto and I'm gonna talk to you again soon have a good one my friends